48 hours after almost a ton of acid and lead poured into the Columbia River, the assessment from both the Minister of Environment and the company suggests the pollution dissipated relatively fast. At this point, we haven't seen any evidence of uh, harmful effects to fish or wildlife, but obviously it's still not a good thing to spill things into the river. I know the company would feel the same way. Uh, we're not happy about it. The volume of the spill relative to the volume of water in the Columbia River is very small. Uh, effects on the water quality are likely to be negligible. The company says the spill happened at a failed heat exchanger which is used to cool down acidic solution that leaches lead from ore. The company might call the spill small but American residents just downstream might see it differently. In fact for Tech Cominco this spill could not have come at a worse time. Four months ago the US Supreme Court ruled that Americans can use US law to go after Canadian polluters and force them to pay cleanup costs. I think it's really good news from an environmental perspective to say, look, you know, you polluted and you're responsible for cleaning up that pollution. That's a profitable company. They can afford to do that. And also it would happen vice versa. If we had an American company that was polluting and it was you know, affecting Canadians downstream, we could also hold that company accountable. The issue is much bigger than Wednesday's spill. For decades, long before there were environmental laws, Cominco was sending hundreds of thousands of kilograms of pollutants downstream. Americans living along Roosevelt Lake have been fighting with Cominco for years, claiming the Canadian company ruined their environment. Cominco has agreed to a $14 million environmental study, but that hasn't stopped the Americans. They're taking Cominco to court, and if the Americans win, Cominco could lose possibly hundreds of millions of dollars if ordered to clean up the environment downstream. We take an event like this very seriously. Uh, electrolyte is designed to be in the lead refinery, definitely not a uh, material which we'd want to spill the river. We've launched a full investigation, a very thorough investigation, to determine exactly what happened that allowed this material uh, to get to the river. Kaminko shut down the smelter for about one hour after Wednesday's spill.